Steve Jobs is one of the most creative and intelligent men who has ever lived. I mean, you look at all the stuff that he built, stuff like Apple or Pixar, and it left the world so different. Now, I'm nowhere near as intelligent as Steve Jobs, but I thought it would be interesting. So I did some digging and I found five key habits that he did every single day that helped him stay successful. Now stick around for number five because that is one that I've been trying to implement more in my everyday routine. Number one, Steve Jobs would wake up at 6 a.m. every single day. He didn't just say, I'm rich, I can sleep until 10 a.m. What's crazy about this part is that him waking up at 6 a.m. is that he actually found it really useful and practical for himself to work one to two hours first thing in the morning before his kids and his family would wake up because he found himself to be so much more productive when he was at home by himself and the only one awake. Number two, he wore the same exact outfit every single day. It's funny just how iconic it's become how he would wear the black turtleneck and the light wash blue jeans every single day. But here's the reason that he did that. A lot of us can spend time and energy choosing what we're gonna wear. By wearing the same outfit every single day, he eliminates that decision from his daily routine and it makes it easy to think about how he's gonna look every single day. Now in 2023, I would not recommend copying the outfit with the black turtleneck. Actually, that might be in style. If it is in style, cool, but I still don't know if you'd wanna wear that every single day. Something similar though that I've seen a lot of people do today is they'll oftentimes wear a pair of black or blue jeans with a black t-shirt. That way their morning is simplified and they're not wasting time thinking about what they're gonna wear. Okay, let's take a quick pause real quick. If you wanna see more videos just like this one that you're watching right now, I need you to destroy the subscribe button below. I'd love to make more videos like this one so that we can build a community of people who wanna see each other succeed. And honestly, the only way that we can really do that is if you hit the subscribe button right now. Number three, he was absolutely obsessive over his time and energy management. See, most people who are obsessed with time management try to squeeze every little thing they can into their day. However, that was not his focus. His focus wasn't on squeezing as much into a day as he could. His focus was on his energy. So it's looking at all those little things that are gonna leave you exhausted and tired and figure out how to eliminate them from your day. Because if you're always tired, you're gonna really struggle to have creativity and good ideas. But when you're rested and focused, you're gonna have good ideas, most people. Number four, he was a fruitarian. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I had no clue what that was, but based on the name and my best guess, I was correct. He was someone who literally would only eat fruit. This is where the name Apple came from. But honestly, for me, the idea of only eating fruit does not sound fun. Personally, my biggest takeaway is to just be way more aware of what foods I'm putting into my body. Number five, this is one that I honestly think is gonna change your life. Cause he had a nighttime routine after he he ate dinner to help himself wind down and get the best night's sleep possible. First, he would drink a hot herbal tea after dinner. Then he would go for a long walk. And also he was known for taking lots of walking meetings throughout the day. And then after that, he would meditate and he would listen to music before he would fall asleep. Now, I think this is something where a lot of us struggle today is we're on our phones pretty much right until the moment we go to bed. And that's such an unhealthy way to unwind because then our brain is still wired when we're trying to fall asleep. So I'd recommend as you get into the later hours of your day, finding ways to just unwind, to step away from screens and find ways to give yourself the best night's sleep possible. When you're not sleeping well, you're gonna really struggle to be productive and creative. Now at the end of the day, most of us aren't gonna end up and be the next Steve Jobs. Some of us probably will, but I think as we look at his daily routine, there's a lot that we can learn from the habits that he had so that we can become more creative, more productive, and become the best versions of ourselves possible. What's a habit that you have? I'd love to hear about it in the comments.